North of here, a great tamarisk tree grows from the riverbank. In its trunk, we will find the head of Osiris. Chiron, soldiers approach. I am Njord Seer. We're following the One-Eye. We've tracked him all the way from Midgard. The One-Eye? Gagarensis. The Cyclops. Aye. He has united the giants. Up north, much of Midgard now lies in ruin. We were sent to follow him in hopes of preventing Ragnarok. Ragnarok? The end of the world. Have you seen the One-Eye? He is here. We are fighting against him as well. Will you join us? We will. Etimos. Full Maline. All right, so originally I wasn't actually going to replay this mission. Um, however, I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could actually kill Red outright for the most part. Um, plus, we kind of cheesed this mission originally. So this time, I'm going to do this the more um, standard straight up way. So you can put a farm there, you can build a couple of monuments. Build up an army of priests, this is a must get relic. Um, basically increases uh, hero damage to myth units. Grab all the uh, farming upgrades as soon as we can. Food and gold are going to be the two main um, resources for this mission. We actually get a decent amount of wood from destroying these uh, musty old tombs. So we don't really need wood, at least for a long time. So that's one thing we don't have to worry about. I want to make sure we've got enough priests. Wait for one more, and then we'll start... Attacking the enemy. Get him to empower that. I'm just gonna put these guys on a separate hotkey. These are kind of just in my way. Right now I don't need any more priests. There's a couple of things I want to do here. One is build a wall. With him. So we need to build some houses. And I need help. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're not losing troops. So we're going to lead with Chiron because he's a tanky boy. Team 2 will take down the temple itself, and then the priests and the axemen will deal with the mummy. I don't care if the axemen die, but I do care if the uh, Jarls die, so hence why we're putting them completely out of the way. We're making sure that we're building our eco as far away from the uh, TC as possible. And that is for a very specific reason. The enemy does um, target the TC. And so having to stop and start economy is really bad. So in order to ensure that we've got continued food production, we're just building our farming eco away from, uh, away from the TC. At this point, we can move these guys onto gold. Another two priests. So I need to start building my next. Um, wall, which will be over here. Go all the way from here. Okay. 
to here. Pretty inexpensive, to be honest. And it's just an early warning defense, essentially. Now, the enemy should be forced into attacking this area since it's the only place without a wall. Um, eventually, we will be building a wall there as well. We want to increase the uh, protection or resistance of our uh, walls. Sod's Lord, they'll attack this way, so I'm actually going to put my Giles on this side just in case they do decide to do that. Well, once they've done that. Okay, they attack that way, that's interesting. There's never a real way of telling which way they're going to attack the enemy. But at least that keeps them busy. Oh wow, she's trapped. That's very unfortunate. Explains why my houses aren't getting built. Right, whilst Kyra runs here, I might as well pick up this relic as well. Yeah, so we want to hit the next age so that we can get Pet Sobex ASAP Rocky. I'm actually going to move this guy over to here. We need gold real badly. This just basically makes walls a little bit stronger. Um, I mean, all buildings technically, but walls are really what we're getting that for. Um, probably is a little bit pruned just to get a little bit of wood production. So at this point we can uh, take care of the mummies. Now the reason I put the monuments there is because they'll basically just waste their time attacking that instead of my farms and my vills. Oh, did he not actually pick that up? That's actually kind of annoying. Okay, fair enough. Pick that up in a second then. So last time we kind of cheesed these uh, temples. Uh, we're not going to do that this time. We're gonna, this is going to be a straight up macro mission. I do want to uh, get my age up very quickly. So let's hit Sobex. I mean, Sobex are the only choice, unfortunately. They're just too good not to have, especially on a mission like this, which is probably, I would say, the hardest mission in the game. Straight up, I think it is the most difficult. I think the Forge is probably the second hardest mission in this game. Second to this one. Two of these priests. Right, we need to get a mid goal fortress as soon as we hit the next age. Not quite sure what you're doing, but I need. Reveals. Be you refer, 
Right, I want him to pick up this relic and bring it back here. Which I genuinely thought I did earlier, but he clearly didn't follow my instruction. Okay, now the enemy's attacks get very relentless in terms of them using... Um, uh, war elephants. So we are going to need to build up a very strong force very quickly. Um, we do have, want to hit that age up, so hence the mid goal. At this point we can actually build a... Uh... I'm actually curious to see if we leave this area open where the enemy will attack us. The only downside of that is I kind of want them to attack the walls rather than my pet Sobex. So I probably am going to build a wall anyway. Once this mid goal fortress is done. We are going to go towards Osiris so that we can get our son of Osiris, which is the absolute goated unit in this game. Build some more monuments. Now we can use the rock to uh, target the uh, to target the enemy um, well, monument that's over here. I say monument, the uh, mummy, dusty tomb, whatever it's called. So we're definitely going to want to start our. Uh, War Elephant production right now. Gold is still a bit of a problem in terms of resource. Problem is such a big risk to uh, take our army so far away, so I'm actually not going to do it for now. I'm going to want a second mid gold fortress, however. Okay, and then we also want to grab the gold mine that's up here, so that is going to be our next target. But at this point, I'm actually going to use one of the oxes. These four. Oh, it is uh, a favor I need. Yeah, makes sense. Can we Greek? You repair? Let me find my pharaoh. Actually, I'm going to get a second pharaoh. It's probably the better way of doing this. Which means I need to stop that Sobek production for a moment. So the gold mine should be here. Lovely. That's what I want to focus on. So now we are nicely protected. Are you stuck again? No, he's not. Okay, that's good. I don't want to auto queue my production um, as in unit production right now. I just don't have the resources. Are you, are you 
And we do want to start armory production as well. What I will do is create a little bit of a splinter group. With the aim of taking down that uh, dusty tomb. Second Pharaoh. I haven't forgotten about the Son of Osiris. I just want a second uh, second Pharaoh to do the work. There he is. Actually, what I think I will do is build this because I can empower that. And then I'll turn you into the Son of Osiris. Remove our pop cap, which is such a big deal. Now there is a second base over here that we do want to uh, eventually get to. The main problem is that does stretch us quite thin in terms of giving us more places to have to defend. quite there yet. But I'm fairly certain there's more gold up here. I could be wrong. At this point we've got too many bills in that place. Okay, so that is all the gold. So once that's gone, we're uh, I need to uh, grab this gold down here then. ASAP Rocky. Clearly they want to be on the other side of this when they start building. So the walls are basically doing exactly what they are intended to do and just buy time for our army to rotate wherever they're needed. Okay, 
U I R Tayo Ayo Refer U Tayo Intio Girl and Wedge Greek Get a bee to grab one of these guys that are not doing anything. Let's finish that off. So I think we're pretty much in the position where we can start attacking the enemy now. Um, I just need to make sure we've got a robust um, production center behind everything. So we're going to build some temples. Uh, if we want a mid goal, we also want to build our final monument. Now weirdly, our lighthouse <laughs> is pretty useful here because it will give us vision. Um, it's a weird building to build because it's nowhere near the sea, but it doesn't really matter. So we built this mostly for the um, hop cap rather than uh, the ability to produce more villagers. Okay, we do have a major problem in that we are pretty much out of gold at this point. In terms of production. So we're going to secure a new gold mine ASAP Rocky. Okay, the enemy is attacking from here. That's fine. We'll deal with that first. Let's take out this final um, old tomb and then we'll probably start by taking up lands over here to be honest. This isn't the right direction. So I want to build a wall there. Villagers. So this is a risky move, moving my entire army away from my base. Should have enough protection. So we can just smash and grab essentially I'm 
can't actually remember what this artifact was actually. It's down here. Yeah, it's more trickle of favour, I'll take that. Pretty useful. So I'm hoping this will actually force the enemy to attack me. I'm actually going to put this here while resuming the attack with Chiron. Where these guys are going, but okay. Now the vision that lighthouse there provides is actually nuts. <laughs> this is why we build it so we can see what the hell's going on in the enemy lands. Now, ironically, that gold is actually what we kind of need to secure. So arguably I'm doing this backwards by attacking this area first, but we've also got almost 5,000 gold, so we're actually pretty good. It's a nice bank that we managed to accrue, and we still got 1,300 gold to spend here, so... Actually, we're in a pretty good spot. But Petsobex really are busted. There's, uh, there's no two ways about it. They are literally the hard carry, as always. But the reason we're not um, auto-linking the armies when they come out is because the pathing, they will literally just walk into a load of enemies and get themselves killed, which we don't want. Lovely boy. Oh, this is going smoothly. Smoother than I expected it to, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Is there any gold? No, we literally have to go here to grab any more gold. Okay, it's good to know. It does need to be our next target. Team one around this area just so they can. Oh, there is gold here. Good to know. It's also their gold, which is even better. So these guys, once they're done, can secure that. How are we doing for upgrades? We're done. Lovely. Anything I've missed? Camel Riders, nah, not what we're going for. Right, let's go ahead and put that as a separate team. Yeah, I'm actually going to link this team. How are these guys doing? 
beautiful that small pop cap. Hi Ron, put yourself together my boy. <laughs> So interesting they've got like a massive army here that doesn't seem to know what to do by walling off this area. Interesting. I wasn't expe expecting it to be that, um, what's the word, uh, effective, I guess. So we'll call that team two, team two can deal with this, team one can deal with this as well, so we'll attack from both angles. Seems to be their last uh, remaining standing army. Did our son of Osiris die? Ah oh, damn. I need to do I need to be better at protecting them. It happens way more than it should. Let's uh, split these troops off. <laughs> Jesus, they died quick. <laughs> oh, my God. One volley, one volley. Man, pet Sobex are legit. They're just such a goated unit. It's insane. Serpents, eh? By the way, I'm, I'm well aware that we can uh, finish this mission whenever we want at this point. But I actually wanted, I came into this mission wanting to destroy red and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. It's not enough to just win the mission. Sorted, so now we can... Uh... Destroying infrastructure. I'm really surprised this has got this mission has gone so smoothly in terms of being able to destroy the enemy. I really, really was not expecting that. As soon as we're ready, we'll obviously send all of our troops to uh, take care, take care of the tree. So pets are it's just a firing squad, aren't they? Let's be honest. How much are all my vills? Oh, there. Smash that. Ah. 
So now we've got all the up... Well, as we've got all the upgrades for... Uh, cutting down trees, I'm going to make sure that they're not going to attack the tree because they will nab that so quickly, even just three of them. Bearing in mind we've got the uh, fast upgrades as well. Yeah, at this point... I think it's fair to say this mission is donezoed. Da, 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 da. Why? Why would they go all the way to this dude when there's a lumber... Oh. <laughs> That's why I built a lumber mill instead of a mine. Because, you know, whoops. <laughs> I would explain it. You know, I'm, I'm, I really do like the Egypt faction. I wonder if Egypt is my favourite. It's, it's either that or Norse. I do like Greece as well, to be fair. And I'm very much excited to uh, finally play Chinese. Because I never actually played the Chinese faction. So when that DLC drops, I am going to be all over that. Right, we're done with this mission. Let's, uh, let's move swiftly on. Cut down the tree. Yeah, Red is officially dead. They've got nothing, Mr. Faulty. This thing just gets uh, cut down so quickly. Curious if this helps. Hard to tell. I don't think it does. But yeah, that is all she wrote, folks, for this mission. I am really shocked that went as smoothly as it did. I thought that was going to be way more challenging to actually full on destroy red, but apparently not. Apparently walls are just legit overpowered in uh, Age of Games. <laughs> Alrighty folks, that'll right about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.